So here I want to show you a basic game development principle about 3D models in games or meshes. These are made up of vertices, edges and faces sometimes known as polygons and I want to show you just how these components work. What I have in front of me is the 3D software Maya which is a modeling application. It can animate and do all kinds of other things but here I'm going to be looking at the models. So let's just come in here and have a look around and you'll see that despite the complexity of all of these models, despite how much they form different shapes, there are really basically only three components on which all models are built. I'm just going to select this house model here and I'm going to isolate this selection just so that we can just see just these components here in the viewport. So we have these models here. Now I'm going to focus on this house here and what we'll see is that it's really made up of only three main components. Let's take a look at them. Let's take a look first at the vertex component. So I'm going to have a look at all the vertices of this model and these are all the purple dots that you can see that are strewn all over this model. If we take a look more closely at this brick wall here you will see that there are purple dots all over the place um, but they are in a structured arrangement. Here is one you can see here I've highlighted that in yellow and then it moves on to another purple dot and then there's another and so on and so forth. In fact at every corner of this model, in every place where this model changes direction there are one of these purple dots each of these is called a vertex and many of them is called vertices and these are really the fundamental building blocks of all 3D models. If I come over to this window you can see there are more of these purple vertices at each corner of the model. So they really are defining characteristics. Now between each of the vertices, let's just go back over to the wall over here a second between each of these vertices, so here is one and here is one, between them is a long blue line that connects them. The line that are connected between two vertices is called an edge. So let's just right click choose edges and now I can select these lines. These lines connecting the vertices are called edges. You will see that we have one vertex here and it's connected by an edge to this vertex here. There is another edge running up here connecting to this vertex and another edge running along here to this one and then along another edge back down to the original vertex. When the vertices connect together like that they form back on one another so we get an enclosed space. Here is one edge, here is another one and another and another here. When we, inf when we form an enclosed space the surface that is created is called a face or a polygon. Here you can see face and if this is a face, here's another face, here's another one, here's another and here's another. So these three basic ingredients, vertices, edges and faces, form these models and when we arrange them in various ways we can create all kinds of complex models, these models that we have created here these are all formed from just those three basic ingredients. So those fundamental principles are another game development principle and they're something with which you're going to need to become very familiar if you build your own models for your own games.